hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and if you've been with me for a while i want to say a very big thank you it's been a while since i actually updated anything on my youtube channel but then guys i am here and i will always be updating you from time to time i know i might have not been consistent but i am actually dropping content from time to time so guys moving on to today's um episode i'm going to be talking about me and my life experience so far in real estate my personal life and the rest of it so i'm just going to be digressing from point to point but then today's video is literally about me so stay tuned i'm back this is actually not a get to know me tag but this is literally about um, me and how far it's been with me so far and more of the reason why i've actually not been consistent on youtube okay um currently i have a job i work yeah and um i am the marketing manager in a real estate company currently as i speak to you and it's been interesting to know that i've had a very good time working and i still have a very good time i mean the experiences i've had so far in this short time of working here has actually shown me that i have a lot of potentials in me and i know for one thing is this is that i am quick to learn and i can grasp anything at any given time so my working experiences has actually been a roller coaster journey it's been so but then it's been awesome. I won't lie. I mean, I have experiences now that I can stand anywhere, any part, any side of this world and give you little or more um, information about real estate and land banking. Do you get? So I've been tutored and I love what I do. I won't lie to you. In the next world to come, I'm still going to be a realtor. I'm still going to sell real estate. I'm still going to sell lands. Okay, because there is a lot to gain here than any other industry that I can think of, even in the oil industry, but then I've not got into that sector yet, but I'm hoping that someday, sometime, I'm going to get there, right? So that's that. But me altogether, it's, it's more like I'm, I'm actually going through phases right now, but I'm going to come back to it. Some of you might say, ah, oh, you've added up. Look at how fat you look. Yeah, I thank God. <laughs> the fats, the fats actually came with, you know, the rest of mind with lots of things and other rags, you know, things like that. But then I thank God for this body and I'm going to keep this body because it's actually making me look good. What do you think guys check me out now <laughs> okay that was a little distraction all right so i've been good and it's actually through my job that i got to get the name port Harcourt landlady and that name has actually gone viral than i can imagine i mean port Harcourt landlady it's a unique name and i thank god for it but aside that I myself have been going through a lot of hurdles in life, relationship-wise, emotional-wise, mental-wise, educational-wise. Mind you, I'm actually furthering my master's in school, and it's not been easy. I actually go to school, and um, my my okay, I think I've mentioned that before in one of my videos that I'm going to school. Yeah, but school actually just resumed this week due to the whole election thing, and I'm going back to school. And I thought about it. I could actually send myself to school at this stage in my life. Like, I could pay my fees, buy my books, pay for my projects, pay for my assignments, all by myself, without getting zero help from anybody, except for God. Now, do you know that it's actually God that has actually kept me in this position at this point in time for me to accomplish and ascertain these things in my life? Yes, it is God. Because if not for Him, who would that be? And so far, I am just grateful. Okay, guys, sorry for that break in transmission. My colleague actually came to give me something to eat. As you can see, I'm eating. It's actually kirishi, and it's so nice. I haven't had this type of kirishi in a long time. Like, I like it. It's not so dry like the other one you eat and eat and eat, and your mouth and teeth will start pinging you. It's meaty and fleshy. So, yeah. So, going back to what I was saying, God has been faithful. I do my part. I make sure I, I, make sure I thank him. I make sure I do the things that I'm supposed to do. I make sure that I serve him. Most of them, I pay my tithes. That's the secret, though. I pay my tithes on every cobble I get, I do. And I've always held God to his words. And he's always done for me what I can do for myself, as long as I'm doing for him what he can do for himself. That's just literally the magic, okay? I want to encourage each and every one of you out there. In case you're looking for something and you've been longing for something, yearning for it, go to God in prayers. Hold him to his word. Do something for him first before you start asking him to do for you. That's the secret to how this thing works. Once you do for God, he will do for you. 
that's what people don't understand. But then they keep asking God, I need house, I need car, I need this. And then he has been talking to you for a while, but you're not listening because you're actually telling him what you want. And you've not been listening to what he wants. So today I charge you to go out there, tell God, what do you want? Do it for him. And trust me, sister, trust me, brother. He will do for you that which your heart so much desires. That is the truth. It is not rocket science and it is not mechanical. It will happen, right? At this point, at this stage in my life right now, I've actually seen a little, not much, but for this number of years I've been on earth and for this number of years I've got to take care of myself and fend for myself. I've actually seen and been through so much. And I thank God for the privilege to even go through this from childhood. I didn't have a very good childhood. My parents got divorced when I was six. I started hustling when I was 11. So all through my life, all what I know is work for what you want. Legitimately, hustle. I've been hustling. And funny enough, guys, God has always been faithful because he knows I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't know how to do anything that people do. The only thing I know how to do is putting my very best into what I'm doing and let it hear and up good, right? So God has always been faithful to me in every aspect of life. And I can stand here today to say that me going to my master's today is God, that I can do it. Me working here today, in this position that I am, it's still God. It's not my strength. Me getting to talk to people, to encourage people to do this, to do that, it's still God. It's not by my strength. But then there are some people that see these things and they want to fight it. I have people. I know people in my church, around me, that wants to fight it. Friends, that claims to be friends, that they see how good I'm doing. And they're like, ah, right, it's not the way she used to be before. She had to come and meet them to like, ah, be bafa, borrow me, thank you. Borrow me five, I'll give you back all this. No, I don't do that anymore because I have actually understood the principles in kingdom wealth. And I've been following it so religiously. And that is the secret to my success so far. And that is the secret to how far God has actually brought me in health, in wealth, in riches, in relationships, and all that. But then, it may look as if I'm not emotionally happy, I'm not emotionally stable. I am stable. I'm just not emotionally happy. I'm just in a complicated state right now. Everything about me and love and relationship is complicated because a lot has happened. And I think I, I, I need to sit back, take a chill pill, and think about me and what I really stand for, what I want, and the kind of a person I want to spend the rest of my life with and be with. I won't say I'm not broken. I am hurt. I am heartbroken and all, but guys, I just have to chill and wait. And while I'm waiting, I'll allow God to do his best. That's just it. So that's enough about me. That's enough. I don't want to bore you with my personal stories and emotional stress but <laughs> please look for somewhere around this video to like and also there is an icon of a bell there please subscribe and turn on notification posts so you will know when i post anytime so you can come and hear this boring girl talk about her stories her experiences her life and all that but there's something i'll show you this boring girl is growing and she's growing fast and i thank god Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. I love you. Bye, guys.